Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel, and this is your daily afternoon news brief. Bria police recently took a local woman into custody on multiple drug charges after a call came out regarding alleged shoplifting at the Dollar General on Village Drive. According to the citation, when police arrived, Valentina Frymer was allegedly seen running barefoot in the rain in 40-degree weather. When police stopped Frymer as she matched the description of the alleged shoplifter, she first gave a false name and social security number to the officer. A car waiting for Frymer was searched, and police noted that they witnessed Frymer stuffing a sunglass case down her pants. When this was searched, police reported they recovered suspected methamphetamine, suspected heroin, an unknown substance, suspected Xanax, and multiple paraphernalia items. A canine unit alerted on the vehicle on scene, and police then recovered two meth pipes. Frymer was arrested and charged with possession of heroin, methamphetamine, two counts of possession of an unspecified drug, tampering with physical evidence, giving an officer false identifying information, and possession of paraphernalia. The body of a man found in Round County Sunday afternoon has now been identified. The county coroner identified the remains as 39-year-old Gary Lee Perry of Moorhead. Sunday afternoon, Kentucky State Police respond to the call of the discovery of the human remains in a field in Clearfield, Kentucky. Perry's cause of death is still under investigation and his body was sent to Frankfurt for an autopsy. Shonda Ebert has a calling to protect and to serve. For the past three seasons, she's also been the athletic trainer for Madison Southern, where she's taken care of the athletes by protecting their ankles, dealing with cramps, and so much more. Later this month, however, she will be deployed, where she will find herself with an even bigger job to help protect the freedom of our country. WBONTV wishes Shonda all the best and hopes for a safe return back to the States. See what the players and coaches from Madison Southern had to say about this amazing woman in the video up now. And it's that time of year again, tax season. Most people who are filing their taxes this year are first-timers, college students among the majority. We visited TaxWise Incorporated here in Richmond to gather more information about how these first-time filers can avoid making mistakes when doing their taxes and how they can do them correctly and efficiently. You can watch the full video with interviews from the tax experts up now on the website and socials. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.